I was looking at this because someone said it could be the new square. And because it's the official processing company of the Las Vegas Raiders, I think that might be the reason why. And I think they're fans of it, but I'm looking at their financials. And they made it a loss. For the, yeah, okay, it's fair enough. No banks, no payment processors have done well. But then I'm looking at their assets. 788 million. Liability is 816 million. So their liabilities outweigh their assets. And that's the reason I don't go into McDonald's, that and the fact that their growth is funded by their debt. So, for the guy who said to me about this, thank you for giving me, getting me on to it, but I understand they've got 8.8 .8 million cash, but it just... I don't know, until they start clearing up their balance books, especially now, it's not of interest to me. Not like Synaptics or Live Ramp or IAC or any of these that I've mentioned before. So it doesn't have to be a company where the assets outweigh the liabilities but it has to have something and granted the it has a tie up with the Raiders but that could end any season and remember the Raiders aren't playing at the moment at the moment so mm -hmm. And it's in a crowded space. So, I'm sorry, but I may go into it in the future. I will revisit it, but at the moment, it's not for me. If, if it becomes another uh, Square or Vimo, PayPal, or any of them I'll say good luck to the people who have gone into it I won't be the kind of person who goes oh no I may be kicking myself but I won't be I wish it didn't do that but anyway stay safe, stay savvy, stay investing I'll see you in the next video goodbye and don't forget to hit that lovely like button, almost as lovely as me. Helps with the YouTube algorithm and getting the video out to more people. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Become part of the Saving Money Show family. We give each other hints and tips and updates about stocks and shares we uh, talk about on the show. As well as that, you can... Ask me to look into any share you want and I don't charge a Discord fee or ask for a Patreon. All I do ask is for you to comment in the box below and hit the like button. Uh, even if you disagree with me, especially if you disagree with me, I like a debate. And if I do something wrong, I want you to call me on it so I can improve the channel. And why not check out the links in the description below. There's lots of others. I've used each one of them myself. I wouldn't give you links if I haven't checked them out myself. Uh, if you're looking for a free trading platform which should trade your stocks and shares, you know you can get a free share worth up to £200 for signing up and depositing a small amount. A free trade only requires a £1 deposit. The others require £100 or dollars, depending on which one you go for. Stake. 
has over three and a half thousand US stocks on their books, which is the biggest one outside of the US. Whereas Trading 212 is one of the best and easiest platforms to use. But as I said, I use all three. Anyway, on with the show.